Hi, this is Sudeep and we will continue to explore more about cross-sectional areas in this session. If you are new to this channel, welcome and please do hit the subscribe button and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Stanley. In the last session, we had explored the rectangular and circular sections for concrete and the I sections and channel sections for steel. In this session, we will continue to explore some more common steel section types. So the first type of section that we will look at today is the angle section. An angle section looks like this. Now, when the two legs of the angle, now it looks like an L, and if the two legs of the angles are unequal, then it's called an unequal angle. Okay, so that is if D is not equal to WF, then the angle would be called unequal angle. And as you might have guessed, if D is equal to WF, then the angle section would be called an equal angle. Okay, irrespective of whether the angle is equal or unequal, the depth or sorry, the thickness remains the same. So we have only one value of thickness. So what would be the cross-sectional area of this angle section? Let us find out the cross-sectional area of this flange here. So that would be, so cross-sectional area of the angle section will be equal to <coughs> the area of this component and the area of this component. So the area of this component is given by and the area of this component would be given by the total depth minus the thickness. So this one and the thickness is the same. So multiplied by the thickness. So this is the cross-sectional area of an angle section. All right, now we have another two categories of steel sections. One is called the pipe sections, which is a circular hollow section. Another name that you would commonly find in the database for pipe sections are CHS, standing for the circular hollow sections. Now, ID represents the internal diameter that is of this hollow and OD uh, is the external diameter. Now you have a hollow in between. So how do you calculate the cross-sectional area of the pipe section? Well, it is the area of the outer circle that would be pi into OD square by 4 minus the area of the internal circle. So it would be pi into ID whole square by 4. So you could represent that as pi by 4 into OD square minus ID square. This would be the expression of the cross-sectional area of a pipe section. And for a tube section, okay, the other name for a tube section, now this again is a hollow section, but it's rectangular or square. The other name of a tube section uh, that you now commonly find in database are RHS, which stands for rectangular hollow sections or SHS, which stands for the square hollow sections. And again, the area is very simple to calculate here. It would be the external rectangle minus the internal rectangle. So in that case, the cross-sectional area would be equal to, cross-sectional area would be equal to, this is the area of the external rectangle 
and what would be the inner dimensions? So the inner dimensions, this dimension here would be so d minus 2 tf, right? d minus 2 tf and this one would be the width minus twice thickness. Now it's not necessary in case of the tube sections that the thickness would be constant. It might differ but you could adjust accordingly. So now this expression for the external rectangle minus the internal rectangle which would be d minus 2 into tf multiplied by width of the flange minus 2 into tf. So this is the area of a tube section, the cross sectional area of the tube section as to how you can, uh, how you generally calculate that. Now if we have an arbitrary shaped area like this, okay, and so in generally in StatPro all that you do not need to do a cross sectional area calculation. The, the reason I have shown you this is that you are absolutely clear on how the calculation is done. But in StatPro, all that you need to define is the, are the sectional dimensions, right? You do not need to actually calculate the cross-sectional area. Stat would calculate that automatically out of the sectional dimensions that you have provided. But if it's a not a clear section shape uh, uh, which has distinct profile points and you have an arbitrary sections like this, then you need to provide the value of the uh, the cross sectional area to start pro because it won't be able to calculate the cross sectional area of this type of section now a mathematical expression to uh, calculate the cross sectional area of this type of section is that you need to consider an elemental area da uh, in this arbitrary shaped cross section and then you need to sum up all these elementary areas over this cross-sectional area to get the, the cross-sectional area of this shape. And that would be represented by the expression A equal to integration of dA over the whole cross-sectional area. So the last thing that we need to discuss on cross-sectional area is about its units. What are the units of cross-sectional areas? Now you know that there are three pure units um, in physics. One is called m which relates to the unit of mass. The other is l which is the length unit okay, or the units of length and the finally is the time unit. Okay, So these are the three units. The cross-sectional area, the units of cross-sectional areas would be expressed as L square or it would be the length unit squared. So it can be meter square expressed as like this meter square or it can be inch square, it could be feet square or we call this as square foot, right? So but whatever, you know, whatever unit system uh, you uh, adopt, whether it's an English system or it's an M uh, MCAS system or if it's an SI system, the units of area would be expressed as length unit whole square. Again, the section coming out of the factories would not have simple rectangular components. It would have Two radius, root radius, etc. So I hope you have enjoyed what we have discussed today. If you have, please hit the like button and please press the bell icon for more notification from this channel. In the next session, we will focus on calculating the moment of inertia. So do join that session and see you in that. Till then, bye bye.